What's up guys, Don Juan. So I'm gonna be showing you today the 75 cent interior mod. Uh, if you're not familiar with this mod, if you just do a quick Google search, you'll probably find a whole bunch of people that did it, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. For the 75 cent interior mod, it's not necessarily 75 cents, at least it wasn't for me because of my color choice, but basically you buy this uh, seating welt cord is what it is. So if you see here, it has a thin spot, then it has like a tube on top, and this is made out of like a leatherette type material or leather, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but you wedge this in between the panels, you know, and give it like a two-tone look for the interior. So a lot of guys do red, you know, green, yellow, whatever color you do, I'm pretty sure they have it. So the issue with me though, when I found out about the mod and I wanted to give it a shot, I wanted to go with uh, either white or gray or something like that, which this one is considered light gray. It might be kind of hard to see, but that is a light gray, not a white. Uh, but with the when the light hits and stuff, it does look kind of white sometimes. But I didn't want white because I didn't want it to get too crazy dirty. So uh, the website that I originally I found it on was eBay, and I was going to order, but order, but they were out of stock of like every color that I was willing to go with. So I found another website, which I'll put the link in the description below, and uh, I was able to get the cord, uh, 12 yards of it for about twelve dollars, I think, like about a dollar, dollar twenty a yard, something like that. So twelve to fourteen dollars for the roll, and then it cost me about twelve to fourteen dollars and shipping for priority mail so I mean it was nice that it was priority mail and it came in like a couple days but even for it, it all in all is about 25 bucks but even for 25 even if we call it a $25 mod I mean I like the way it came out and uh, I think for 25 bucks it changes the whole aspect of the car quite a bit uh, the reason I went with gray was because the stitching on mine which uh, I'm pretty sure all the scat pads with the full black interior have that silver gray stitching so it goes really really well with the stitching it almost looks you know like it's OEM so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on the this, this driver's side door this is the only panel I had left I already did the rest and I'll let you guys take a look at the inside so you can see how it looks so it's pretty simple to do um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now um, so you can see I already have the top one done so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your welt cord and then you're just gonna start sliding it in between the body of the panel gap so we're gonna go right here on this one and on certain areas it actually slides in very easily and on others it's a pain in the ass so just get be prepared that it's not going to be super easy all the way around. It's not a very difficult repair, but um, it, it should be all right. So yeah, uh, we go ahead and see is sliding. This part is not that hard on this one, so it's sliding in here pretty easily. So now it's very nice to have like a little tiny flathead screwdriver and when we come around this corner right so this is the part that's a pain in the butt this back side going in between the panels all the way to the door is kind of a pain so I'll go ahead and get the scissors so we can cut the excess uh, weld cord off and then we'll go ahead and show you guys what I like to do is I like to line it up with the back to see how far it goes so I can cut the, the right amount off so I'm gonna cut it right about here all right so now we take the extra and leave it off. Let's see. All right, so now that we have the weld cord uh, completely cut, we're gonna go ahead and keep trying to put it in. Like I said, this piece up to here is not bad. It's this last piece in between the, the leather and stuff. This one can be a little bit of a pain in the butt because it was a pain in the butt on the other side. So you just gotta make sure you try to line it up straight and just try to push it in. Uh, pretty hard and firm without the welt cord like tweaking or bending on you there it is comes all the way to the back you can see got the the first one right here and the second one that goes all the way at the top I love wanted to go all the way to the edge of the door so it looks good I actually stopped right here earlier and then it just kind of looked a little goofy because this one came all the way to the end so yep that's pretty much it now I'll show you guys what the interior looks like with it all right, sorry guys if it's a little dirty in here. Um, I haven't cleaned the interior in a, like in the last week. Um, just a little dusty, but yeah. So there goes the weld cord right here. It goes all the way around the trim. And as you can see, it comes all the way down and around. And you will see that some panels do tend to, it can come out a little bit. All you gotta do is just push it back in, but I'm gonna try to find an adhesive that I can put on the back of it to kind of help it. So there it is right there as well. It goes around that trim. 
this one was also pr a little difficult to get on the corners uh, pretty it was pretty tough uh, then down here in the center console you can see it goes around the edge and then we have the doors that you see right there that you just see me saw me do and uh, on the top and then the passenger door as well and then also the back door so you can see right there trim goes up so yeah I mean for 25 bucks it gives it a nice little touch on the interior of the car and I, I think I like it I mean I, I think it's pretty cool all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that video of the 25 uh the 75 cent mod uh i know it was a pretty quick video but uh like i said there's plenty of other videos showing like little every little step by step but i just wanted to share with you guys how it looked in my car and my color choice but it's very simple to do i think it gives it a nice little two-tone touch for the interior color um especially if you have the red and black interior and you get the red trim i mean i've seen that and it looks really really nice so go ahead and uh, you know take a look into that if you're interested I'll put a link in the description down below for the company that I bought it from and they do have quite a few more colors than some of the other companies that I've seen other than that just keep an eye out on uh, my Instagram my Facebook um, you'll get some updates and stuff from there later on this week or probably will be by sometime on the weekend by the time the stuff comes in but uh, I'll be doing an unboxing of a lot of different stuff that I purchased and we will be getting some stuff ready to get sent out and get hydro dipped um, which I'm pretty excited about that and I'll go over that with you guys uh, in a later video but till then I hope you enjoyed the video if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace mm -hmm.